Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is the second video in this Vietnam series. If you haven't seen the first video, I recently visited Vietnam for a month and started my journey in Ho Chi Minh City, also known as Saigon. And the goal is to travel to Hanoi in the north to end my trip over there. Since I am a motorcycle enthusiast and this is a motorcycle channel, of course I'm doing this trip on a motorcycle that I rented it in Saigon at Top Notch Motorbikes. I will leave a link to their website in the description of this video. The bike that I chose to be my mode of transportation the upcoming weeks is the Benelli TRK502. In the last video I just picked up the bike and made a test drive around Ho Chi Minh City and started my first real ride in Vietnam by riding to a place north of Ho Chi Minh City called Kuchi Tunnels. The ride up and down to the tunnels was a one day ride and in this video we are continuing the trip, visiting the tunnels and getting back to the hotel in Saigon. Traffic in Vietnam is chaotic and it doesn't seem like if there is any traffic laws in place. But they are. Only apparently nobody seems to care about them. That means that you will have to be alert at all times for traffic that turns into your lane in front of you or even going in the wrong direction. The average speed in Vietnam is between 50 and 80 kilometers an hour and even slower in residential areas. Sometimes you're able to go a bit faster, but that is more an exception than a rule here. You saw me running a red light and turning right. I've been told and also experienced it firsthand that stopping for a red light in Vietnam is usually more dangerous than ignoring it. In this case I wanted to turn right so I merged with the little traffic that was there. But if you are stopping for a red light and the crossing is clear, the vehicle behind you might decide to run the red light even though you are standing in front of him. I have been told that this is one of the most common causes of death in traffic here in Vietnam, next to head-on collisions between vehicles and motorcycles. Just a heads up, you will see me more than once running a red light while being here in Vietnam. Don't do this at home.
that we reached the end of this uh, one-way rip, uh, trip. We're now right on top of the Gucci tunnels and now I have to find the entrance. And that was over there. To get to the Kuchi tunnels I had to go to another entrance. So you will see me exit the complex here on another place that I arrived. I decided to take an alternative route back to Ho Chi Minh City. So instead of going right I'm taking a left turn and I'm going to make my way to Binh Duong province. That is located on the other side of the river and from there drive back south to Ho Chi Minh City.
Do you remember me telling you that stopping at a red light isn't always the best thing to do? Well, if that motorbike had been a car or even a truck, I wouldn't have been as fortunate as I was this time. Come yet. The closer I got to Ho Chi Minh City, the darker the sky became. The weather app told me there were thunder and rainstorms over Saigon, and when looking to the sky I couldn't think of a way to avoid getting wet. Keep driving. One problem, I didn't bring my rain gear on this day trip, so I hoped that it would pass and I could get back to the hotel safe and sound, but most importantly, dry. Well, that didn't work as planned.
Rush hour in Vietnam is basically all day long, but here in Saigon it is at, at its worst between the hour of 4 and 6. The reason is actually quite simple. Everybody wants to be at home before sundown. And where sunset in Europe goes slowly from light to dark, here in Vietnam it is dark in a matter of minutes. At one moment you are looking outside and it's bright, and five minutes later it's pitch black. We are almost back at the arrival hotel, and that will also be the moment that this video will end. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, this is the perfect moment to do so. I hope to be able to post a Vietnam video every Monday at 1700 hours Central European time, but I'm currently also busy with a heavy training for my new job, so I will do my best to upload on a regular basis, but for the upcoming 4-6 to six months I cannot promise anything. Stay tuned for the next video, where I'll be leaving Ho Chi Minh City to go to my first destination in Vietnam. And during that trip, not everything goes as planned, and I will be thinking about my life's choices. See you then! Bye!